All right, here's a scenario. The grid is out, but you still have power because you were smart enough to invest in a Tygo EI residential energy storage solution, but even your internet service provider doesn't have power, and you still want to be able to use the EI app to find out what's going on with your system. Well, let's figure it out. Okay, so there are two prerequisites for this. First, you must have a cell phone plan with data. The EI app does require an internet connection to initialize to find your system as it pulls it from the EI portal. So you must have a cell phone plan with data. The next thing, you must be within Bluetooth range of the EI inverter because you will use your smartphone to directly connect to the EI inverter. So once we have those two prerequisites fulfilled, the next thing you're going to do is open the EI app. And now tap on the gear icon on the lower right side of the screen. Next, tap configure communication. Now this is how we will directly connect to the inverter using Bluetooth. So make sure the Bluetooth selection is selected, then you'll see the inverter serial number underneath. Just tap the inverter serial number and it will connect. The blue line at the top of the app screen shows you that you have successfully connected to the EI inverter. Now you're gonna tap the back arrow a few times until you reach this screen. And so now tap select equipment and then view details. Tap setup. And then on the right top corner of the EI app, tap those three little dots. And you'll notice the real-time data selection pops up on the bottom of the app. Tap that, and now you are able to read the data coming from the EI system, including EI inverter and EI battery data. And that's it. Now you can read all the data from your system, even if your internet service provider does not have power. If you have any questions, please contact our support line. We'd be happy to help you. Thank you for watching.